obviously, uh, you, you originally scheduled to fight Hamza back in the summer in Saudi. Before that, he, he had to pull out so relatively close. So it's essentially two back-to-back camps for the same guy. Has this just kind of felt like just one long fight camp for the same person? Or have you been kind of been able to separate it and you know take some downtime before you reset? Um, I guess like during my camps, I don't really focus too heavily on like my opponents specifically. So we catered the training to to counter and to, to work niches that that will work in the fight, but we don't. It's not like a, a full game plan. That's why I was able to adapt to the last minute change last fight was because we're very flexible and, and open ended with our with our training and preparation. I, this whole year, like I've been fortunate enough and blessed enough to, to be able to be pretty active this year. This year's felt felt like a, a whole camp. Is that a DCU fight? How? much how painful has it been not being able to compete as much as you want to mm. it's hard i mean always and when you want to do your job uh, when you can't do it and you're not getting the money it's hard <laughs> so yeah but uh, thanks god i'm here and ready i'm gonna go in for my victory and take my money go home be happy Obviously, you've had some health issues that have kept you out of the cage. I don't know if you want to go into detail as to what those were, but do you feel like they are all behind you now and you could move forward with your career without having to worry about that again? Of course, whatever happens in my life, so always being, come out with everything, always wins, you know, so whatever it is I fight with, always wins. Thanks, God. But right now, I'm here. I'm best guy who could be in the UFC man. Was there any concern that he wouldn't make it this time? That he wouldn't make it? Yeah. I didn't worry about it, you know. Sure. They're pretty quick with filling out the spots. He has said that, you know, he's reunited with some of his old coaches. He's moved his training camp around. He has this new scientific approach. Uh, so he's not just training to exhaustion at all points. Um, are you expecting maybe a different Hamzat or is it like, you know, the stuff that he does, he's very good at. He won't change. It's just the approach he's taking, maybe not to be exhausted and get sick as much as he did in the past. Uh, I'm not, I guess I'm not really focusing too much on him. I don't think about him too much. I get asked a lot of questions about Jemaya, this, Jemaya, that. I don't think about it. Like, you know, he's, he's not on my mind very much. I am expecting him to come out hard and aggressive from the first second to the last. Okay. And... I have prepared accordingly for that. I've prepared for the hardest fight of my life to, to, to start extremely hard, like sprinting for the first five to 10 minutes, but also drag it out to five minutes. I'm ready to sprint for 25 minutes if so. And yeah, I, I, I come in for war. Does it annoy you now that fans, considering when you started in the UFC, it was a fight one week, a fight another week, that now fans almost talk about you like, oh, this guy never fights. Does that annoy you? No, why should why should these these things uh, do something? You know, like beginning in my career, I was like that. So why are these guys saying this that? Man, this is, this is just the only fans, you know. So whatever they say is not uh, not personal for me. Do you think Robert Whitaker could be one of the hardest fights in the middleweight division for you, based on his style? I don't know. So we'll see in the cage. So but. Anyone on the top could be a hard fight, but somebody could be an easy fight. We will see. Maybe it's an easy fight, maybe it's a hard fight for me, so we don't know. Your coach in the countdown said, I think his phrase was, uh, Hamza's looking for Rob's leg, Rob's looking for his chin. Has that been kind of, I know you don't think about him specifically, but has that been kind of the mindset as, as like a team? I look to, to, to go into this fight hunting him, much like I, I planned to last fight. I, I look to do again this fight. I'm, I'm the hunter in this fight. I'm the predator, and I look. I'm going to be looking for him. And after the Drikas's win in Perth, you know, he was asked, you know, who do you think deserves the next shot? And he said, he interrupted the question. He said, Robert Whitaker probably deserves the next shot over Sean Strickland, but he's obviously probably fighting Sean, and you're fighting Hamza. Was there any, you know, talks or hope that maybe you would just get the title shot instead of having to go through Hamza? Doesn't bother me. I've never really. I've never really let things that I can't control affect how I feel or, you know, what I'm doing. I mean, a fight. 
this is what I get paid to do, this is how I put bread on the table for my family. You know, this is my duty to my family, so here I am. They, uh, they say that it's going to be Drikus versus Sean Strickland for the title next, but if you go out there and you finish Robert Whittaker in one or two rounds, do you think that the UFC will have to say, okay, no, it's hands out next? I hope so, but they said that before as well. When I beat the Gilbert Burns, how long time was that? So two or three years ago, man. I didn't afford my chance. After that, Usman, if he beats Usman, then I'm fight for the title. He didn't afford it, so we'll see. But I'm happy with the money. I'm making more money than any champ as well, man. So, yeah. Life is good. Yeah. How do you think this fight with Rob will go? Do you believe he will be able to stop the onslaught that you bring in round one and round two and maybe take you to the championship rounds? Or do you think that he won't be able to handle your wrestling and aggressiveness? I don't know, we'll see. And uh, you know how to lose, we don't know. So I'm ready for victory. Um, I know. I think you had said in another interview, like you feel this was one of the best camps of your life and you're just feeling like you're firing all, on all cylinders. Is that a product of kind of parlaying the work from the last time right into this? Uh, not just the last one, the, the entire year. You know, since the Drickers loss, and I kind of uh, had a bit of a wake up call. I made some changes, you know, inside, outside the gym. We, we just sat down and we, we ripped in. We worked hard. We worked harder than ever. And you can see the results of that of that work show itself in every fight this year. Every fight I've gotten better. I've started to back myself more. The confidence I take in the victories that I've had. Man, I'm coming into this fight all cylinders firing. Comes out right here. Uh, on the countdown, it showed you with your new team and your new gym. So I'm curious how has camp been and any of the changes you made from your old one outside of no longer training to exhaustion every single time. What, what, what? It said uh, it showed that um, an interview that in your old camp you would just train so much until you were exhausted, and now you're taking a much more scientific approach and rest with your new team. So how has camp been with your new team? I have my old coaches still there, my coaches, and then always will be my coaches. But just done the the training camp, and we try the new things, and uh, we train with the. That guys who train the people 16 years, you know, so with professional wrestlers, with professional boxers, and uh, I has my doctor around me, I has my dietist around me, and uh, the guy who, who checking my supplements, everything, you know, I never had so much team around me, you know, so it would be a different of that. Rob has faced high-level wrestlers in the past, like Joel Romero, and he's faced high-level grapplers like Jacques Array. I'm curious, how, how do you think you are different from those two guys when you step in there with Rob? They are not MMA wrestlers. MMA is different, you know. So you can be an Olympic champion, but if you get an Olympic champion, me and MMA wrestling, I could beat him easy. So this is different, you know. So I'm not uh, just wrestler. And people thinking about like, I'm not just freestyle wrestler, no. MMA wrestler is different. And say Rob does be able to stop the takedowns early, do you think you would also hold the advantage if you if the fight stayed striking and you could knock him out on the feet? Who did stop my takedowns? No, no one yet. So I don't think so. This guy will be different. So if Kamaru Usman is a been a great champ and he took down everyone, but I took him down, I dominated him you know, in the rounds, and easy. And with Hamzat's fights, it's kind of been a tale of two stories, either finishes the guy really quick, or we've seen him go the distance those two times, and he has looked fatigued. Uh, he said in here earlier that he thinks in this first five-rounder, he could push that pace for all five. Um, are you curious to find out if that's possible? Because a lot of people look at those Usman and Burns fights, and the idea of him going two more rounds uh, seems like it would be a lot. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to fire it off for 25 minutes. And uh, yeah, if he wants to sprint with me, let's go. Uh, I want to ask you, Sa, about that the, you left a big, big marks through your career, faced many, many opponents and the big names and the historical fights. And what it means for you to be called a future Hall of Famer for you? <laughs> I guess it's kind of like the, the cherry on top, right? It's like the, the icing on the cake. It's... I've always, uh, a big driving point in my career has just been about trying to perfect my craft, become one of the best 
combat athletes who have ever lived, you know, and I feel like I've done that, but I'm still kind of chipping away at that. Um, I, I feel like my, the best years are still ahead of me. You know, I'm finally just falling into a bit of a groove. But, yeah, I, I guess it's kind of just it's acknowledgement that what I've done was for something, that like what I've done has been recognised, I guess, you know, like cherry on top. And uh, what going to be different with Taekwondo or Karate guy and against like Usman guy, you know, being a wrestler? I mean, he was a professional wrestler before. And then last one for me, um, unrelated to your fight, can I just get your thoughts on the main event between Ilya and Max? That's a hard fight for both. If he's going to be on the stand-up, it will be hard. But if Ilya uses his background and Jiu-Jitsu and wrestling, I think Ilya can win the much easier. Thumbs up right here. Uh, Five-round fight this time. And the past two times where you've gone the distance against uh, Camaro and Gilbert, people have criticized your cardio. Do you look forward if Robert can make it to those fourth and fifth rounds to showing how strong you can be later in a fight? Everyone talk about my condition, but nobody see what I did with these guys, you know. So I always fight, you know. I'm not a guy who is jumping around and trying to save my gas station, you know. So I go always all in, you know. So I like to go and finish somebody. I try to finish the guys. If it doesn't work, so I'm gonna go all distance. Doesn't matter, man. So I'm here, just win my fight. For Hamza, there was only one other undefeated fighter that you fought, Israel Adesanya. Does it matter that there's a zero across their record when you fight them, your opponent? No. Nah. Like, it's, uh, like, everybody was undefeated at some point. And, um, yeah, I don't really, I don't really look at records anyway. Because, uh, as you know, the past two fights for Chimaev, he looked very tired at the end of <clears throat> every round against Usman and against Gilbert. And I think against you, this will not work, especially when it's a five round. Mm. Um, it's, hard to, it's hard to say. It's like he's had such, such success with his like, really hard starting fighting approach. Okay, regardless whether he gassed or not, he still won those fights pretty handily. And then it was due to the amount of dominance he had in those first few might, first, first rounds. Now, um, I'm expecting the best version of himself. I'm expecting a guy that comes out hard and a guy that will last. Okay, I've prepared for it. I've trained for it because I can't, I'm not going to train thinking that if I get out of the first round, it's game over. You know, it's, yeah, I, I'm preparing for the, best version he can offer me, a super soldier. And yeah, I've done that. Do you have to change that pace a little bit, knowing it's five rounds, or do you feel you can go as hard as you want for 25 minutes if needed? I've been pushing from first second to last second on my sparring, but I don't think so it would be different in the cage here as well. So, but I didn't say anything about my health before Usman fight, oh, everyone thinks about how that went in the cage healthy, so no, it wasn't that. I was sick on the morning before the fight, so I don't find the excuse, like, don't cry, like, I had a short, short notice, like Usman says, I jump in and also in short notice when my fight, you know. Yeah, we're all fighters. We do not, don't need to find some excuse. If I lose, lose, we are fighters, yeah, just shut up and go home. How much better, given everything you've said about the training, the nutrition, do you feel right now than you have in past fights, you know, coming in a few day, like hours out from weigh-ins or, you know, a day and a half from weigh-ins? How much better do you feel right now? What? What? Compared to last fights, how much better do you feel right now, given all the changes that you've made in nutrition and training? It was amazing. It feels amazing. And uh, my camp was perfect. Never could be that good, man. So... Um, We've been in the mountains, been training, and never been in the, I've been always in the city and just a normal gym to train, you know. So, like now, I was in the Olympic Central, and that has everything there doctors, everything, they're checking around and checking your body, and all the things you need for the Olympic athletes, you know. So, they use it for me, and I'm in great shape.